name is I Chief Lawal Africas. I'm the network coordinator for the Partners for Peace and the Warrior MSP facilitator. I work with PIN Foundation. Uh, today's workshop uh, is a workshop that uh, is a capacity building workshop that we've used to bring together uh, youths from Delta State, mostly the two ethnic nationalities of the Ijaws and the Shekiris, bringing them together on the peaceful coexistence. So the idea of the workshop is actually to build their capacity on peace building, leadership and early warning and early response system. Uh, most important, I think, uh, from what we have seen in the last two days, we've seen a level of bonding. Uh, so my word for them is just for them to allow that spirit of coexistence and how to also involve themselves more in peace building activities so that uh, there could be more development in their region. Working together as one, speaking with one voice, uh, that for me will be more healthier than dividing ourselves at as young future leaders of tomorrow. Things have been doing a lot in the Niger Delta, particularly the Wari area, where we have been organizing similar programs. Even in the rural riverine communities, we have been traveling across this area to continue to create the enabling environment, to create the uh, peace that is needed in this area. And when we do this, the major beneficiary of this peace Despite the fact that the Joachim Shekri need peace, the major beneficiaries are the state government and the multinationals and other investors in the area. Because if these two ethnic groups are in conflict, there is no way the government will have peace. There is no way the multinationals can operate peacefully in those areas. There is no way an investors can come to the area. And like as I said, worry is the commercial nerve of data. So the government need peace. And PIN has been doing this. PIN has been sponsoring, facilitating, organizing. So I'm just trying for us to think about the implication of violence that poverty. That one is understood. Because no matter what you have last. If there is violence, conflict is not managed, it's not violence. All your the abstract structures, the building, this building, if there is a conflict now, violence, conflict, you won't even sit here. You know, one day this building will be brought down because of how say, drives poverty, and the people that have been walking here, they will have nothing to do. Start introducing themselves 
to community and to community it becomes a problem. So we are advising that communities, after a, a community escrow has been stopped or a kingdom escrow has been stopped, it is proper that they introduce them to the school. Today's workshop is enlightening, it's fine, highly educative, and above all, I think um, the organizers of the workshop tried meet a lot of expectations. My word for the organizers is that programs like this, after organizing them, you have trained the people, um, you take a step further by mobilizing the people for the process. You see, um, whatever you learn, if you do not put it to practice, um, there are tendencies you forget everything. Um, Comrade Esther David. Yeah, um, with this piece training organized by um, Paint, I actually benefited a lot and. One, one of the things I benefited from this program is about leadership, how a leadership should, how a leader should behave and expected qualities of a leader, which is being sacrificial and selfless. I mean,